Anya, friend to is everyone. Good morning, ba 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 zu baby, ba 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 ba. Sanji is so hot. Sanji, why can't you be my soulmate? Damn it. Anyway, so Stephanie, I think finally calmed down. Oh, that, that one, okay. I thought it was the ones where I was like, not being mean. She does that shit all the time. Who gives a fuck? Oh, my God. I have no idea what they're doing. I don't really give a fuck right now. Gosh, she's so annoying. I just got out of a meeting. Mm. Fucking annoy me about this shit now. Look, Tiffany is annoying, and all this bullshit is because she makes bad decisions, and sure, she's not involved in P. Diddy, Justin Bieber, uh, but that douchebag uh, that she said she was dating while she was stalking me is, she seems like terrified of all these people, and it's probably because they have blackmail on her, and... I feel the only way for you to get famous is to pretend to date some douchey losers. Maybe it's not a good idea to be famous. So annoying. So annoying. Oh. Take a break from dating. Motherfucker, I don't date. Why did I tell you the shit that I do? I think I was like, Stephanie, just come over. She's like, why? I was like, because you're hot. And if you get pregnant, I'll put a ring on it. That's what they're supposed to do if you're, not, if you're not a douchebag, right? No, she wants to fucking, like, text me all day long while she's getting her hair done to go on stage to hang out with other losers and call out a relationship. I'm getting my makeup done. You you can't video chat me. I'm getting my makeup done because I need to be here for five hours. He's so cute. I have to go hang out with other losers now. Everyone, I'm so famous. But I don't have any money. Who wants to pay for all my bullshit? Mm. Hey, Kevin Nish, do you want to have me do for everyone? It's about a song about this guy I'm stalking. He doesn't notice me, but I'd use you to pay for it. Mm. Yeah, I'll pay you back. Mm. Guy who finally noticed me, give me your money. I'm pregnant. Mm. Oh my god, the feds are involved. Uh, everyone, everyone, there was Kevin Nish and Pete Diddy. I'm going to go hide in Korea. I can't believe... I can't believe you would get some strippers and down on their faces. Eh? I can't believe you'd steal from a fucking child. I can't believe you'd stalk me for seven years. Fucking rap whore. Whatever the fuck I was going to talk about, I got upset. Started calling her a rap whore again. Look, the only silver lining out of all this bullshit is A, it wasn't that much money. B, P. Diddy can't do this shit ever again. And C, everyone is getting exposed for all the bullshittery they've done. I mean, Lacunas, why can't you... And me have just been guildmates in a rad squad. You probably weren't good enough to be in a rad squad. You probably just casually played. You weren't trying to take down the Lich King before anyone else did. You didn't get your leather working up to 100, did you? Anyways, what was I talking about? I was going to say some shit about Tiffany, but whatever. Look, she's hot. She's also cunty. 
I'm not going to put up with her bullshit. I don't know what the fuck she thinks she's doing, but no, like I can do whatever the fuck I want to with my dick because I'm single because that stupid whore steals from children and hangs out with douchey losers to make fucking failed ass music. Ask her why she did not put out the Rick Ross video. This stupid whore stole from a child that forget my money. She stole from a child. Okay. Then she said she was going to explain everything. Then she went to go, then she did some douchey basketball uh, fucking bullshit. Hang it out with these Grammy, oh my god, Grammy, promote for the basketball. I'm proud of you for the Brad James. Then everyone started getting arrested and her ass ran away to Korea. November 2023 is when they say that they officially started looking into the PDD for the human trafficking before it was just money laundering and all that bullshit. Remember how in July, when I yelled at her in her face, I said, if you don't start turning state evidence, I'm fucking done with your ass. Then she did Moshimino and started turning state evidence and was like, I hope he's not mad at me still. I'm mad at you. I don't give a fuck about P. Diddy. Why have you not returned my, you owe my niece $10,000. I paid her because I don't want her being out $10,000. Out $10, you owe my niece $10,000 that you stole from her. Or stay the fuck out of my life. It's that simple. April Fool's, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You're a rap whore. You hang out with Kevin Nish and all these fucking douches. And your music sucks. Man, then it moons a shitty song. It is. It's so auto-tuned. The only, the only good song you have made is Overskin and Teach Me, Teach You, teach whatever the fuck it is. Because at least you were passionate about those ones. Like, oh, I finally had an orgasm. Oh, I feel so great. Make a song about it. No, oh, he didn't notice me. I'm so pissed off. I'll make a song about it. Magnetic Moon, put me to you. Pepper bit. Magnetic Moon, run for your life. Run for your life. Run away, run away. That's why you make less than $1,000 a month on Spotify, and you sold out to do that. You sold out to a pedophile cult that is a satanic cult that does weird fucking prayer circle things because you wanted to make magnetic moon put me to you. In standing room of 90, dozens of fans came to see you for you to sell out. Rap whore.